are tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. I'm back. Road rants for Black and White Sports. Very quickly, no live stream this morning. I am starting Hell Week for my business, uh, which is Thanksgiving, and the second one is Christmas uh, for my service business. John Matrix is out of town this morning. So uh, we're going to try to do a live stream later in the evening, one of these days this week. Now, we wanted to shine a light on an American patriot as President Trump continues the battle to keep the Democratic Socialists at bay after trying to rig themselves a victory in a fraudulent election. Yeah, I said that. A fraudulent election. Um, we, we need new members of the House. We've got one right here. Mr. Former Oakland Raider, New York Jet, Burgess Owens, just got elected to the U.S. Congress. And he had some choice words for Black Lives Matter. He called it like he sees it. He called it like we know it to be. We know it to be so. So, make sure if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button and check out channel memberships to help support the channel. Make sure you share the fuck out of these videos because YouTube is trying to hold us down right now. I guarantee you, we can tell it. We can tell it. Ever since November 3rd, ironically enough. Isn't that strange? Let's talk about Mr. Owens. Uh, Mr. Owens, oh, this, is, this is awesome. A former NFL player who builds himself as the anti-Colin Kaepernick has been elected to the U.S. House of Representatives. Burgess Owens, running as a Republican, beat the Democratic incumbent Ben McAdams, he flipped that seat. Good for you, Mr. Owens. In a close race for Utah's 4th District, which is uh, part of the suburbs for Salt Lake City. Owens was one of the first black players to represent the University of Miami football team, majored in biology and chemistry. He's one smart, some bitch. He went on to have a 10-year career in the NFL, Jets, Raiders, and won a Super Bowl. He said when he was leaving the league, he was a cocky liberal. He says his political views now are, quote, very conservative. <laughs> and he confirms it with the following remarks. On his campaign site, he pitched himself as the cultural counterweight to the hatred that former 49ers quarterback Colin Kaepernick has spewed for the last few years. He also described Black Lives Matter as a Marxist organization. During an appearance on the traitorous Fox News, I included that, he said Black Lives Matter hates God. They hate the family unit. They hate the nuclear family, and they hate capitalism. Black Lives Matter is a decentralized movement and does not have official policies that's included from this damn website. He is also engaged in the battle against child trafficking. God damn, another admirable pursuit, Mr. Owens. On Monday, he thanked his uh, Twitter supporters. Thank you, Utah. I am honored to have an opportunity to serve. Uh, also, in the 32nd District of Ohio, uh, excuse me, in the 16th District of Ohio, former Colts uh, linebacker Anthony Gonzalez is a Republican there. Okay, so he just won. So that's pretty cool. Um, so Mr. Owens comes out, hammers Black Lives Matter for exactly what it is. It's not a social organization. They don't give two rats dams about black lives. We know that. They're a Marxist organization. They have since cowardly removed their What We're About page because everybody under the sun made a video and or covered it on any conservative channels. Look, let's just call them what they are. Socialist, communist, no good rat bastards, right? And um, 
look on their website when you use the wording comrade and tribal child rearing oh yeah we got a problem we've got a problem you don't represent the ideals of america traditional american values we need guys like burgess owens to step up and join the fight like he has breaking narrative Look, I don't ever like to bring up race. Mr. Owens is a black man, okay? And leftists want you to believe it's all about race. Every black person on the planet is a democratic socialist. No, they're not. Mr. Matrix is not. Anthony Bryan Logan is not. Brandon Tatum is not. Candace Owens is not. Good God, the list goes on and on. The great legendary Herschel Walker is not. Who knows? I'd like to have Burgess Owens on Black and White Sports to talk a little shop one day, possibly. Uh, Look, NFL career, 30 interceptions as as a strong safety and free safety back when the league did not throw the ball at all, okay? We're talking about quarterbacks having 2,000 yards and 15 touchdowns. Now, I guarantee you with him playing that position, he rearranged some wide receivers' front teeth a damn good bit, I assure you. That was back when the league was hitting like hell. Super Bowl champion, American Patriot, wanted to shine some light on this gentleman. Tell me what you think, Black and White Sports fans. Peace, I'm out. Till next time. Stay vigilant. Watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.